Hey everybody, Gage here from Sharp. Excited to have you with me for another episode of Sharp Knife Shop TV. And today's episode, uh, we are doing a new arrivals video. We've got some cool new stuff coming in. Um, I do apologize, the selection on our site has been a little less than amazing over the past uh, couple weeks here. We had an awesome uh, holiday season, uh, but that means uh, a lot of the cool stuff is gone. So we're slowly bringing uh, some, some awesome stuff back. We've got a couple shipments after this one uh, that will be exciting to show you as well but without further ado let's check out what's come in this week uh, very exciting we've got some really cool stuff to show you um, I'm gonna go from um I don't want to say least exciting to most exciting, but uh, kind of in that sort of uh, in that sort of theme here so uh, though these are very exciting we have some very very much more exciting stuff to show you after. But we'll start with the Hatsuka Koro Ginyo series. Uh, we've had these in before. We've got the uh, uh, bunk, or not bunker, we've got the petty knife, Santoku Nakiri and 210 millimeter Gyuto in stock. These guys are sweet. They've got a beautiful Damascus finish on them. Walnut handles with buffalo horn ferrules, octagonal in shape, so they're good for righties and lefties. They are made from a stainless steel called Ginsan or Silver 3. Um, one of my favorite stainless steels. It's very, very easy to sharpen. Um, takes a really wicked screaming sharp edge. It's said to be the most similar uh, to carbon steel of any of the stainless steels, mostly for its sharpening properties and for um, how awesome an edge it takes. Um, these are forged by Yoshihiro Yaoji out of the uh, Takefu Knife Village. Um, they're a little bit different from the last batch that we had in. Um, the last batch had Wenge handles on them. These, again, have the walnut handles on them. Um, the previous batch had a bit of more of a textured finish to it, to it, whereas these are quite a bit more smooth. Um, they've got no suchime on them whatsoever. They're just a, a flat uh, Damascus finish on them. Um, they're not quite as tall as the last batch was, um, but they are much thinner behind the edge. So I would say, um, though the last batch were, were really awesome knives, had a great cutting feel on them, I would say that these are gonna cut even better than the previous batch. Um, so again, very excited to have these in um, and get, get some cool stuff back in stock. Um, next, we've got, and this is where it gets tricky because I said least exciting to most exciting. I'm almost equally as excited about all of these next knives. So this next part's in no particular order, but we'll go with the, uh, the Yoshikanes that we got in next. We've got the 210 millimeter Kritzke style uh, Gyuto and then the 210 millimeter uh, just regular old Gyuto. Uh, these are white number two uh, with the stainless cladding on them and Nashiji finish. Uh, again, walnut with buffalo horn ferrule is the handle octagonal in shape on both of them so again suitable for righties and lefties um, these come to us from the uh, Sanjo area Yoshikane is out in, in Sanjo so very uh, very um, similar to what you'll find out that way in terms of the spine thickness which is a little thick uh, coming out of the uh, handle here but tapers down very nicely towards the tip um, very very thin behind the edge as well great edge geometry on these guys um, I'm probably the most excited about this guy um, I love the Nashiji finish I love the stainless cladding um, I'm a sucker for the k-tip on on uh, on knives so this guy's right up my alley uh, balance balances very nicely like right where you'd want it to um, so yeah very excited about these guys moving on we've got uh, some really really cool stuff from um, uh, Yoshikazu Tanaka these are exceptionally beautiful knives they are Algami number nope Shogami number one white number one Yes, white number one, uh, 210 Gyuto, 240 Gyuto, uh, ebony with white buffalo horn ferrule. Um, I love the, the, the look of these handles on these blades, that beautiful Damascus finish. Um, these, these nice tall bevels on these guys. They're nice and tall uh, in terms of the blade height as well. They feel fantastic in the hand. The fit and finish on these guys is really nice. Like spine is sanded down beautifully, choil. Um, everything about these is super, super cool. Uh, of course, as you might guess, they are not cheap, uh, but well worth the money in my mind. Um, lots of uh, lots of effort goes into making these, and it really shows. Um, these guys uh, have uh, a little 
lacquer finish on them. So they kind of appear to have this like rainbow finish to them. You will need to get some acetone or like uh, some uh, nail polish remover and just give them a quick wipe before you, before you use them in order to get a really nice um, consistent patina on them. But uh, yeah, really gorgeous stuff here. Uh, next, moving on to the Tetsujin Nakedi 165 millimeters uh, with a Kasumi finish. Uh, near mirror almost, like you can, I don't know if you can see me in here through the sh reflection, but yeah, really, really awesome knife. Um, pretty simple and elegant. Um, again, nicely spine, uh, sanded uh, choil and spine, uh, ebony with white buffalo horn ferrule. Um, this is ironclad as were the uh, were the uh, Yoshikazu Tanakas. So um, you have to really make sure you're keeping these dry and clean, uh, but gorgeous, gorgeous knife. Knives, uh, edge geometry on them is exceptional as well. They go, they just just to disappear into nothingness there. Um, so really, really cool knife. Um, those are uh, blue number two, I should point out. Um, so yeah, really cool. And last but certainly not least, uh, this is a consider considered a new arrival. We've had the 240 of these and the uh, Hatsukokoro Shinkiro. Uh, these are Algami Super, Ironclad, Damascus, Kuruchi. Uh, with ebony and white buffalo horn feral. These probably have the sharpest out of the box edge I have ever felt. I made Jake feel them as well. He would agree. Um, absolutely insane. Like they, and I'm sure you'll want to touch them on the stones before before you use them anyways. Uh, but yeah, insanely sharp right out of the box, um, which was not surprising, but a little, um, a little bit surprising because the 240s, uh, came with very nice out of the box edges, but uh, certainly not as sharp as these guys. So really, really impressed with that. Super cool. So there you have it guys, uh, new arrivals for this week. Uh, stay tuned for more new arrivals videos. We've got, uh, like I said, a new shipment coming in at the end of this week and one likely to arrive early next week. So we've got a lot of cool new stuff coming in um, just in time for our Valentine's Day sale, which is gonna be happening around uh, the beginning of February and, and into uh, the middle of February with uh, with uh, Valentine's Day on the 14th as we hope as we all know. So uh, thank you so much for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to uh, dice up that like button, subscribe to our channel for more knife related content and until the next one, stay sharp.